Okay, so the first thing we want to do is load cache like usual. Go to your client's cache. And I'm using a plain PI, freshly downloaded. Um, just open up your cache. And we're going to go into image archives media. There we go. Just make this bigger for you guys to see. Now, um, we're going to add a new archive here on the plus. We're going to call this background. There we go. Now, now is the time to open notepad because the name will definitely nullify after you close this um, after you close this cache so just type in background dot that contains the background there we go now go back to your background click on this plus to add something in that archive click and then add in our little background easy there we go bam see that's our little background right there looks nice so background zero why is it zero because here images zero is your background okay um, the background there we go now just the background isn't enough obviously so I'm gonna make a new thing saying button um, or actually interface button and we're gonna add this in here again interface button dot that contains hoovered buttons there we go and we're gonna go to something I've kept private until now um, I'll share the interface pack I'm using for these um, it's probably in the description okay um, okay here we go this is a nice button and we're gonna add in the Hoover the hover the Hoover the whatever button in there too bam and we're gonna document this so interface button zero unhoovered golden button and this one is the hoovered golden button and save this as interface data just a normal txt okay there we go and now ladies and gentlemen oh by the way I'll leave the cache editor download in the description um, but now ladies and gentlemen it's time to make our goddamn interface so save the archive there we go there we go and we want to go to there we go go to my interface maker um, this is Lin's interface editor um, I'm gonna leave a download link in the description um, it needs some kind of Windows framework net chisel um, but probably every computer has that by default so you open up RuneScape Interface Editor. Um, I'm gonna magnify my screen. Um, you wanna open a cache and go to your cache where you added those um, your data in that you documented your pictures. There, where is he? There, cache. Cool, cool, very cool. Yeah, missing sprites. This is by default. It always gives missing sprites. And we want to go to interface, create a new interface. Now, this is what you want to documentate as well. The, so, in here we have the interface tree. Okay, look, it's a, it's a fucking tree. Okay. So, 
this is what we want to documentate all these numbers which I just randomly made so interface for YouTube equals 18786 cool and this is the data we're gonna use to make it okay okay so the first thing we want to do is add a sprite the background furthermore we wanna disable emulate interface 2 so now we're editing there we go we can move this around um, we added a sprite in the cache which was our background but what was our background named as uh, we do com we documented that it's named background zero okay so that helps me out a lot now how do I declare this sprite as background zero then you see all this bunch of options and I'm like whoa no just go to disabled sprite name and type in background zero bam there it is it's your interface now I'm just gonna move this a little bit around there we go okay so that is your background this is your sprite but the sprite needs to cover up the whole sprite and we only have this little square so we want to edit the height and you're just gonna have to play around with this 260, 264, 265 it's not necessary because you don't need to click your sprite so but you should but I'm not going to <laughs> because I'm obviously well experienced um, now the next thing we want to do is add an, another sprite and put it right there and name it um, interface button 0 uh, interface button 0 there we go looks pretty neat and I'm gonna click duplicate again wow that option has everything there we go put it right under beneath there we go I think that's pretty the same yeah pretty much okay so that looks pretty neat already but now we want to fill it up with text and here's your little text so click text and I'm gonna put text in here now you see this disable text this is where your text goes hey my name is Arno and I have a fetish for blondes there we go and we want to make the disabled color something different because this isn't a black font you probably can't even see right now on video so I'm gonna change this to white <laughs> and there we go I have a fetish for blondes and now let's say you find this I don't know a bit small or something then you can edit the font index to one two three three is the max so don't touch anything above three um, the next thing we're gonna handle is the buttons which we added this is well required to completely cover because um, we want to click on our buttons so let's experiment a little almost there we go and gotta change the height to 25 25 180 25 180 um, I'm gonna make a little text again saying do you have a fetish for blondes 
two. There we go. Disabled color white. There we go. Looks pretty neat. <laughs> if I say so myself. Now, we're going to cover a button can only be pushed when you give it an action type. Um, an action type, if you make the add action type 1, it means it's clickable. So that means it may, it becomes a clicking button or an action button or whatever you can call it as. So put both of these at action type 1. Now you probably have been waiting for Hoovers and that's what we're gonna cover now.